I know you're gonna dig this. Because ultimately, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many options you have in your life, the one that gets you thinking the most is the one that you either lost or the one you feel you can never get. So what are the signs to look out for in order for you to be able to tell who is a player and who isn't? And not just how to be able to tell who's a player and who isn't, but also how you can flip a player's game on their head. Okay, let's jump into it. Now, most players, right, their aim is to have many people on the go. Some of them don't do it maliciously, they just gain comfort in knowing they are having validation from several different sources, while others just want to be able to sleep with as many different people as they can. The dangerous thing about players is at first they naturally have a very alluring vibe to you. Because they have an abundance of other people and other options, they are naturally behaving in a way that you find seductive and attractive, right? Because they have other people who give them attention, they divide their sources of validation and you're one of them, right? So you're from the get-go, you'll feel like you're chasing someone. Because they, again, are talking to other people, the time, the attention, the affection that they desire from you is much lower than what you desire from them in the scenario where they're the only person you're talking to and you are one of many people that they are talking to you, right? So from the get-go you notice that you want to chase this person, they have a very alluring vibe, maybe they don't have as much time for you as you would ideally want them to. Most players are just there to fuck you, so they don't have time to meet your family and friends. Now because you know that most players are there just to fuck you, you can flip their game on its head. If you know, if you know that the ball is going to run towards the red thing you wave at it, you can use the red thing you wave at the ball in order to get it to chase you, and then you can manoeuvre, right? As people do in shows. You can do is a way to get a player to fall for you. That's the kind of person you want. Understandably, again, I know why you would want a player because they keep you on your toes, they don't want you, they don't give you much attention or validation and you chase that, right, naturally. Another way to recognize a player is a player will sexualize anything. You could be talking to a player about what you ate for dinner and you would say, oh, so I ate some spaghetti tonight. And the player will be like, hmm, I like spaghetti. It's curvy. Or you could be talking about anything on the phone to them and they'll be like, so what are you wearing right now? Right? They'll just find any way to sexualize an otherwise very regular conversation. Now, normal guys do this too. But what I'm trying to say is these are also things a player would do. So if you see several of these signs I am naming, you'll know that he's probably a player. Players will tend to hide their phone if they're around you, okay? So if you're with them and they're texting, they might turn their phone away from you. Or if you try to look at their phone, they'll, they'll quickly turn the screen away from you, okay? Another thing you'll notice players do is when they take phone calls, they might walk away. Right, because they don't want you to hear who they're talking to. So sometimes they might let their phone ring instead of answering it around you, or they might leave the room and go out somewhere to take a phone call. Another way to be able to tell a player is they just have a lot of friends of the opposite gender, right? Yeah, I just have loads of friends of the opposite gender. What's the problem with that? Theoretically, there is no problem with that, but that's also something you should, you should be looking out for, okay? <laughs> So now you know how to spot a player. But what we're going to go through next is how to flip a player's game on them. How do you get a player to chase you? If this is for whatever reason the kind of person that you want, understandably so, they they tend to be quite physically attractive people. They tend to be um, in good shape. They tend to be 
quite alluring by nature because they have abundance. Abundance allows you to be alluring just in your subliminal behavior. How you flip it is you, you can do things like this, right? You can say, hey, I've got some shopping to do. Do you want to come hang out with me? But I'm going to meet my friend after, right? What this means is you're making a plan with the player where there is no outcome that could lead to them having sex with you afterwards, right? Because you're going to meet your friend afterwards and they're only going to be outdoors with you shopping. Most players would turn a motive like this down. This is a way you could tell a player because they're not going to come out with you to places um, that don't end up in them being able to have sex with you right if it's a nightclub or if it's uh, come round to their house or you're going or they're coming to your house or you're going for dinner together these are all things that can lead to sex because you can go to each other's house after or you are in each other's house right but if you are going somewhere during the day and then you have a plan to go to afterwards there is no way they're going to get sex from that situation and you therefore are testing them through this plan you can do it in different ways too you can just say hey do you want to go out and get something during the day uh, get something to eat and then I have to go okay these are ways you can test throw out a little test to see what their intentions are with you okay now how you flip a player's game on them is very simple the more you get a player to invest in you the less likely they are to walk away from you now what I mean by this is if you're if you're investing a lot of money into getting a business to work and the business is slowly showing signs that it's going to work you're on your toes right you're able you're willing to invest more money because you can see it's progressing somewhere the opposite is also true if you if you see it's instantly worked you're going to be like wow okay i've got what i wanted you know like business is booming i'm quite happy i'm quite you know i'm good let me just ride things out and see how it goes or if you're investing money and nothing happens, you're just going to be like, wow, probably this is a failure. Um, there was actually an experiment done too, where rats were put in a cage and um, if they pressed a button, treats would come out, right? Now, when the rats would press the button and the treats came out 100% of the time, the rats were happy, but they would only, they would only press the button when they needed or wanted a treat. Then they put the rats, a different set of rats in the cage, but the button only worked 60, 70% of the time. The rats used to press the button more when there was the uncertainty, the uncertainty around whether the button would produce a treat, right? Because it's almost a game. It's almost a game where they're kept on their toes. They're kept on their toes. They don't know if by pressing the button, they're going to get a treat or not. Players and humans in general work the same way. When there is uncertainty, when there is ambiguity around something, they are on their toes, they are more likely to pursue it. So how to flip a player's game on them, very simply, is to make them feel like they're getting somewhere with you. And you pace it, you hold off sexual stuff for as long as you can, so you reward them from time to time. You, you reward, you give them positive reinforcement for good behavior. What I mean by this is if you want them to come out with you, spend time with you, meet your friends, and you somehow get them to do this, you can reward them for that behavior. However you deem, however you deem that is, I'm not telling you to do anything specifically, but by positively reinforcing behavior, you're making someone more likely to do it. But by holding off what it is that they want, which a lot of players would just be sex, by holding it off as long as you can, while simultaneously getting them to invest time into talking to you, right? Uh, time into going out with you and not getting specifically what they wanted when they thought. You need to run a fine line between not making them give up, but simultaneously giving them hope from time to time that they will get what they want, right? And you can do this by every now and again showing contrast in behavior sometimes you're fairly cold but then other times you're very flirty and you're very alluring towards them and you be alluring towards them when they give you behavior that you want them to show you such as chasing you such as coming out with you and not being completely sexual then you can reward them with alluring behavior right this keeps them on their toes this keeps them um, in an uncertain place and you're almost using their own game 
back on them because a player's behavior towards you is irrational. It doesn't follow a certain theme or pattern by nature because they have other options. So just by from time to time rewarding their good behavior, being alluring, and then if they're showing you bad behavior by backing off, you're making the player invest more you're keeping them on their toes as players are generally again quite physically attractive quite um, alluring in their vibe and nature they're not used to people treating them this way they're used to people bowing down to them they're used to being able to manipulate people so by being slightly hot and cold by being a bit irrational by rewarding and positively reinforcing good behavior and by pulling back when they show bad behavior you are making a player enter your frame they are reactive to your behavior this is when you're in a relationship and you're head over heels for the person much more than they are for you what you'll notice happens a lot of the time is you're responding to their behavior so you know if they're cold with you you'll be upset and you know you'll back off a bit or if they're really loving towards you you're you're like the happiest person ever and you're chasing them and you're like gloating to all your friends and your whole day is good that's you in their frame they are behaving how they want and you are responding to it by positively reinforcing good behavior and being cold when they display bad behavior this is how you get a player so this video has taught you how to recognize a player how to reinforce that they are a player by testing it by testing them uh, which is the whole come out and let's do things uh, where there is no sex involved right you obviously don't vocalize the fact there's no sex involved but you make it obvious and you see if they continue to want to do that plan with you or not and the third way is to be cold when they display player like behavior is to positively reinforce behavior that shows that maybe they're not a player right and you do all of this while simultaneously being on your grind being on your purpose having your hobbies and you will naturally come across high value be attractive and be that one code that they're trying to crack that one person that they're struggling to get because ultimately no matter how famous you are no matter how many options you have in your life the one that gets you thinking the most is the one that you either lost or the one you feel you can never get.